Six weeks ago. Six weeks ago, we came from Malta. Oh, right, so they're, they're on the way to slaughter. And then I start uh, getting dragged. You get dragged? Yeah. Not that way, not that way. Not. Don't come into my space. Not that way. That's not the way to go. Did you? Did did it's quite a big horse. Uh, 15 feet. 15 feet. Um, Those decks up there. I, right, that's going to get ruined. Yeah. So can we bring it? Out so I think yeah. The booger. Well, <laughs> oh, you just blast through you, will you? Kind of thing. Because he's a trained standard rag, he's next up there. Yeah, okay. Come here. 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 Huh? What's his name? Color of neat, what, what's it? his name? Deffy. Deffy. Exactly Look at his lovely big ears. What's what's his, pussy in the car. Oh, yes, he's going to get a cat in the car. Oh, right. <laughs> it's not a tomcat, is it? <laughs> <laughs> Andrew, so do you want to go and get the keys then? Yeah, yeah. Right? yeah, yeah, Marcus, yeah. Um, okay. All of his stuff um, is in here. Uh, No, Steve will get his, you'll get his halter. halter. He'll grab okay. his halter. Um, I'll get my stuff. You go and get the key. Yep. We'll get set up first. Perfect. And then I'll do a little bit of groundwork. I'll just have a walk around so we're the best way to do it. Eight weeks old. And a bird came down and she just left and got this. And I'm like, Kitty Puss Puss, you horrible thing. And she looks at me. Ah. <laughs> uh, so that's why I call her Kitty Puss Puss. Deffy Duvet. Guys, so we've turned up. This is Deffy Duvet. Du Deffy Duvet. <laughs> we just found out. Um, six weeks ago. Six weeks ago, we came from Malta. So there's very little known history. I think he was a trotter. He's uh, like, what's with the weather? The yard <laughs> and she's seen nothing like it, apparently. I just dragged everyone off. Uh, who knows? I mean, I wouldn't have thought they'd have done any particular quality groundwork with him. Apparently he's very, very bolshy, but you've got to remember what he's been through. He's just wow. come from Malta. His whole life in the lovely sunshine. He's, yeah, his whole life's been torn apart, really. Uh, won't have the trailer. He might have had a horrendous journey. We, we, we're talking about we don't know what. Yeah. We don't know what's happened, do we, mate? To you? Oh. Hey? You don't even know you're going to survive the day, do you? But I, unfortunately, have got to firm up a little bit, get some respect out of this horse because. He's worked out on the yard. I mean, the yard owner just said she's seen nothing like it. He'll just drag people up. And... So, uh, he's shod. He's shod. He's just noticed the trailer being pulled up. There. Yeah. Um, so that's the situation, guys. I have no idea. Uh, what is I mean, things aren't working out at all for this guy or uh, uh, Andrea. Andrea, did you say? Andrea. Andrea. Let's go and have a look at the trailer then, because I think... We need to put some shape. Just a few weeks ago, guys, remember this horse? This was its life. So this is some clips I found of Maltese um, trotting races. Harikendu tam vet minja optimus emmem disa anadero zekoni ashla fakiri pija bin umrohda ashla vlib. Lawa kline shilu fil sahara. So he could have been one of them, couldn't he? As I said, I think that was last year. 
2022 clips. So he could have been one of them racing along there. And it's very competitive, the Maltese racing. There are quite a few accidents as well. It's quite, uh, I don't know. But when, when they're finished, uh, these races, they're kind of surplus. And it can be a little bit like racing dogs, you know, ground, ground dogs. A lot of those get put to slaughter after they're finished with. As with racehorses that break down, it's a part of what goes on in this world, guys. And that's it. Well, now, uh, there's a charity that's set up for these Maltese horses. Because if they are surplus, they're destroyed. And that's where this horse was heading. So, basically, Andrea is one of the people that answered a charity and... I don't think they cost much money and that's what Andrew did. Said, yes, I'll try and save one of these trotters. So he's come over. I think basically you pay about a thousand English pounds to cover the transport and then you end up with a horse. Uh, but a lot of these horses, they have got issues. Remember, they're, they're, they're not really family horses. They are there to do a job, to win some money. Uh, and are the training methods questionable? Yeah, probably in that kind of environment, but I, you know, I won't go into that. So there's this horse five, six weeks ago. It was there trotting and now it's here. So it's come on a transport. Now, apparently the transport company did, did a good job. Uh, I did ask Andrea, you know what? She said, no, I, they did, they did a great job. She doesn't think there would have been any problem in transport, but it's a big deal for this horse. It's a big deal. I know when I went to live in Spain, I took Nita and Buzz, little quarter horse, which I started over there. I remember, yeah, they made the journey. Uh, we brought them back ourselves, actually, when we moved back. But they made the journey. And they weren't, they weren't quite the same when, when they landed. It was about three or four days. You know, they, it's a big deal. They, they don't see what they're... It's out of um, their routine, uh, all the travelling, different people. And it can shock some horses and then there's a temperature change and things like that. So, yeah, that horse is really not sure about anything at the moment. Now, I don't think uh, these trotters have much groundwork. They're there to do a job. don't think they have a lot of groundwork and things like that. They're kind of broken in and they're, and they're kind of uh, pushed forward uh, for the racing. So the horse is kind of lost a little bit and he's worked out, he, you know, he can move people on the yard. He can, if you try to get him near the trailer, it'll drag people off. He's okay until something he, something frightens him and he's worked out. He can just go straight as an arrow and dra drag people off. And the yard owner said, he, you know, it's quite something to see him just drag people off. So they're in trouble, guys. They're in trouble with this horse. And uh, yeah, that's that's why I'm there. And I, I'm learning this as I'm there. He's trailer off because that is too dark. Okay. Right? You'll find that these international. What did he come on a big? He would have come on a huge. They never like this. They're full of straw. Yeah. Straw on the rat. They're, you know that is too dark. Yeah, I heard ground working down there. Yeah. Uh, they said it's. He can't really run that far, can he? It's quite a small paddock, isn't it? Well, I'll put the things. Across yeah, perfect. Yeah, because it would be I mean, I have. No, no, it's not that. I have the campers complaining. Right then, let's see what we got then. Let's see what we got then. Hi, Andrea. Hi, Andy. Last one right there. What are you Andrew, what's that lady's name again? Mandy. Mandy. That lady's Mandy. Yeah. Mandy and Andrea. Andy, Mandy. <laughs> and, and the, uh, so, okay, here's the fella. Up and get very worried as well, does he? And then I start 
Yeah, you get dragged. You get dragged? Yeah. Can I just say that? <laughs> Tell me, stop it. Um, well, really? You're just... A bit, a bit. Just do one more time for me. Right, I'm back. I had to rush off then and just sort something out. But guys, that clip there, you could see Andrea trying um, to keep it together uh, for trailering this horse, and it was about it was about to to kick off. And what happens next? The next stage is he'll just drag you know drag Andrea off, or the or the owner, and bump into you. You could see it was just about to start. So yeah, things aren't aren't great. Um, so we've put him away now, which. We all know it's the worst thing you can do because, you know, it, there's a lot of effort goes into trailering this horse or leading him around with quality. And each time it doesn't happen, it goes away, then he's put away. And so he's convinced when that kind of thing happens, especially after you've maybe some jobs to go to and they've tried for weeks, five, four or five hours at a time. And you can imagine in the horse's mind how set it becomes that it is a necessity for that horse to not go in because that's how that horse survives the day. That's, it all worked out for it in the end because the horse is put away or put out in the field, whatever. So yeah, by doing that then and me saying, yeah, put him away, I had to do that because I had to evaluate what's next that I've got to do. But that kind of thing where you just put them away like that on a bad note, which it was a bad note, pushing through Andrea, not going on the trailer, that's where you have to be careful. During the storm, that we do get the breakthrough. From breakdown comes breakthrough. If we don't get to the breakthrough during the breakdown, then you've got a big breakdown. Uh, and that's where we're at with this horse at the moment, with all what's gone on with the journey and changing its life, really. So, not not great. Oh. I, I I drew the line when Andrew said she was recovering from an illness, so... Pneumonia. Yeah. Well, he's got no respect for anybody, has he? That's very good. No. Um, no, that, that is good this morning. That is good? good. Okay. Yeah. Normally, he does drag her everywhere. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So, what we're going to do, I'm going to put my whole trod down. Yeah. And we're going to take him, I'm going to do five issues in this stable. Okay. And then we're going to take him down into that field. Okay? Yeah. And try to do some groundwork with him. The ideal is a school, um, but we haven't got that at the moment because it's being resurfaced. So, yeah. so look, I might, I might firm up a little bit with him. Fine. Not wanting to be nasty to him, but he, he can't push through me, you know what I mean? So let's get this on first. Hello, mate. Hello, mate. Lovely colour. Yes, it's a beautiful boy. You've got a big head. I know that. Yeah. <laughs> I've got all top size and I've got Gosh, look, oh. at him. <laughs> look at him, mate. Look at him. What's his name again? Deffy. Deffy. Deffy Duvet. He's French. Oh, Deffy yes. Duvet. D Duvet. Du uh, T H E Y. We'll call him Deffy for short. So I've just disengaged him. He's really good at disengaging, so yeah. we've been doing this out on the yard. Just get him going round and round, and then... His big problem is, he can't... Like, his shoulder come in there. Yeah. Right, yeah. his shoulder come in there. At me. So... Welcome that, guys. He needs to know there's something different about the way I'm, he's going to be operating around me. And there, he pushes his shoulder into me, and I very quickly put my arm up there, sort of stamp my feet a little bit, Tilly backs away there. I was quite pleased that he 
he kind of turned away there as if he knew what that was about. I'm not going to hurt you, but you cannot drag us off and you cannot push through us. He's going to have to go through some emotions. Yeah. That's a bit better. Just have a little step back there. So every time you're, he looks away, you bring him back. Yes, I want, I want his attention on me because what's happening is he's dragging you off. You don't just drag with it looking at you. Now that's unrequested forward motion. So again, he searches here. He's used to going up to that door, kind of bumping into people. He walks forward there, and I very, very quickly um, make a deal of it and saying that is not an option now. You don't walk through me. You don't push me up against the door, and he might, takes a step back there. So again, all little things right at the beginning. To think about coming through. I me, mean, I, I own a, I own a bit of geography now. Yeah. Fair. Can you stay with me. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. If, if he looks elsewhere, yeah. where the ear goes, the nose goes, then his toes are going, and you're gone. Okay. Yeah. So we want to keep him. You know, I just phoned up on him there, and we'll be a lot softer now for a minute. But every time he came to, towards me then, I flagged him till I got... He kind of ain't that bothered about the flag, really, He's is not he? Uh, <laughs> no. Um, but I'm going to lower his head I've a little bit now. I've been pushing it over his body and, like, grooming him with it. Yeah. <laughs> he was getting yeah. used to it, but... Let's get him a little bit relaxed. <clears throat> All right. Hey? Been through a lot, you know what I mean? He's, he's come from over there, his life's been torn apart. Off Sometimes the travelling over isn't that nice, you know. You know, uh, I don't know if you've tried flexing him at all. Yeah, I d after the ranch um, day, I started doing that. Oh, He's better on it? one side than the other. They usually are. He wouldn't bend at all when I started. Wow, well done, there. So, well done. Good. good boy. Getting a bit of bend in him. Now, he hasn't walked forward no, he hasn't, uh, on me. At Right. Okay. Do you want to oh, oh, dear. Yeah. It'll stop all that from blowing away. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, right, Nate. Yeah, there's not a chance I'm getting that. You've done well. But this, do you understand why it's important to have this? You've this got is going to be, you've this. got to instantly have a flex. Yeah. So that when it gets to the end of that rope and thinks about, he, he's got some kind of um, understanding that he, there's an end to the rope. Yeah. How many times he's drunk people off, I don't know. So it's kind of inbuilt oh, behavior. Yeah. yeah. Um, so you can't overdo this. I do loads of that there. Yeah, that's Good. not bad. That's not bad. Being a trotter, he wouldn't have had much of this. No. He's really tight on which was he struggling? Going to the right in the school. Going to, uh, going to the right in the school. Yeah, a lot of that. Right. Yeah, a lot of that is. The track was going the other way. Hmm? The track was going the other way. Uh, there's the tracks, yeah. but also a, a lot of horses are better to the left because they see you in this eye mostly. Right. Because you remember they're looking up as well as at the back. They're looking everywhere, so they see a rider up there. So if you're turning to the right, and they're so used to seeing you the in the left, they don't turn towards the right, so you have to get them balanced. Okay. The cowboy horse is the most balanced because they, whenever they rope a cow, they get on and off that side, they, yeah. and they lead them behind. We always lead there, don't we? Right. You know, it gets yeah. them one-sided. Yeah. And, uh, you know, I've helped a lot of horses that don't bend and are stiff to the right. It's not five minutes, you have to do quite a lot yeah. to get them used to senior so it's more both sides there's, ho there's halters you can buy uh that do up this side so that means oh. you go to your horse the other side ah. you put the halter on that side yeah. and you say bye bye to them that, that side. side so it kind of yeah. can help it really does i've seen it help okay so he he's, doesn't seem to be scared of the rope either you know <laughs> would you say there's a slightly different look there yeah he's slightly still, yeah, yeah. Slightly. I've um, never seen his eyes look more relaxed. They look hmm? very wide all the time. So you think he's looking a little bit more relaxed? Yeah. yeah. Okay, right then, stop. Coming out? No. Back up. He's got sticky foot there. There. 
Right? This is very important I do it in here right. because he will search immediately if I didn't do it here and drag me off. Right. So he needs to have a, some kind of an idea where he can't run off with me. Okay. Right? Be nice to him. Be as, as kind as I can be, but as firm as necessary, yeah. okay? That's, so, there. Do you see then I didn't have to bump him? Yeah. Just a little. Stay with me. There. Right, I'm going to disengage in the other way. Yeah, that's all right. Now I'm gonna put my hand up here. He does when uh, when I was trying to do some lunging, wasn't it last week? He was really. Oh no, he backed off me there very, very easily. Then. Yeah. So. He does come in to me when I was lunging. He was just like, I don't know whether it was a comfort factor. He didn't want to go out, or. Or the fact that he knows he can. <laughs> couldn't, yeah, he couldn't. Yeah. Couldn't get him out. Okay, so. <clears throat> I've got. He's got just a little bit of an idea. To, to, to move away and not yeah so that's a nice little look that'll change now but right what i'm going to do i'm going to walk him up there and i'm going to stop now we're going to give him a chance now um to maybe think about coming through and he hasn't has it no. is that a little bit surprising because he was yeah hmm? don't yeah don't fall in that uh, so he has to wait on me that's brilliant that's not what I expected, really. Yeah. Look at that. Look at that, mate. Can I go and do the fryer? Okay, so you can see if it doesn't get used that much. Right, so. That's not bad. Back up. Thank you. Not too. Now, look at me. Don't no, come forward now. He was thinking forward then. Not with a tight rope, yeah? Right? Not with a tight rope. Now I'm gonna stop. Really good. Mate. Hey. He's been doing that. And he's been stopping. I have to I have to do that to get him not to come to eat. Well, stop. well if you watch what I do, what if you watch what I do, I, I do a little do and I step back. Okay. No no, no, don't worry about anything else. This is what's really important. He's all but, yeah. Just that's, that's what I have Yeah, just a little. If yeah. I put the worst bit in, the, yeah. the hardest bit is what I'm doing. Then you can. There, and he's with me. Yeah. But you got to. If they get really worried about something, you have to then allow for a horse's natural. You know, if he really got scared about something, you, you've got to let him move. Yeah. Right. Okay. Right. Now I'm going to try and. The more this horse learns to back away, the better with everything. Okay. Yeah. So I'm going to see whether we've got any. I'm going to release for a foot there. Now I'm touching for back, remember, and club for forward. That's good. Not bad, kid. Not bad. Uh -uh. Get him on you. Yeah. yeah. Clamping a bit. No, you if can. you ever think you need to, just do that and crack his mouth. That's all you got to do. Right. If there's ever a lot of foals are very tight, yeah. and if you keep cracking their mouth, yeah. and just put your hand on them when, when they do it. Look, that's just cracking. Can you please mouth. explain because people won't understand cracking? Uh, just put your thumb in and loosen well, it. A, tight, a, a, a horse that's tight and worried yeah. will always have a clamped mouth. Yeah. Uh, foals get very clamped. Uh, you see it all the time. A petrified horse, the cramped shut mouth. Yeah. And a, 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 a relaxed jaw is a relaxed horse. So you what's called, put your finger in the mouth and then when it loosens, take your finger out and do that often. Just literally top corner, here. yeah. Yeah, just, just top corner, fiddle around and, then, and it feels good to them. Does it? Yeah. Okay. Just watch that they don't clamp straight down on the finger. <laughs> good luck to that one. Right, so okay. That's a good, that's what I've been waiting for now. He's not pushing forward. And the sun's coming out, so... You know, he's, look, he's with me, isn't he? He's yes. with me here, kind of. So we'll go down the school. Not the school, the field. The, the, the field. Uh, general consensus, I'm going to get dragged off. Let's see. Oh. 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 
Did you? I. Uh, everybody enjoys the ranch days. Did you enjoy my chili? <laughs> Oh, so did you send that? Yeah. Oh, so, do you know, I was just going to say to you, somebody sent me a message wanting the recipe and I, I just thought about it. Sorry. Well, not, not drag drag, but he's like, he's the one in charge. Here? Just in general. Did you see the difference then? Yeah. I've even got him to back up this hill a bit there. Yeah. Um, that work there has made him more respectful of me and my space. You see? And there he thought about... So that's, that's what I want... I've had to transfer it in stages down to here. Yeah. A lot of the mistakes we make is is where we come straight down in here. I transferred it further down further the stable down, block. Further down. By the trailer. Yeah. Uh, That's it. Uh, uh, into the field. Right. Okay. Right then. Okay. Well, I'm going to check that he's giving me a little bit of space in the field I don't mind if he doesn't I'll just back him up stop not bad not bad but it's important I let him know that that's good so I haven't I haven't done anything I might just send that one foot back oh so light that was nice that felt nice So watch my foot, All right? That wasn't very good. So now he'll have to see him free his feet then. Those feet just freed off, licked and chewed. Um, so I, I don't mind if he does that, just means I'm gonna bump him back. So I'm gonna do the same thing. My foot's gonna drop back, my shoulder's down. I'm gonna let that go. Look, stay with me. Right. So, this is the important thing. You're going to have to lead him for now with a bit more rope. So you're not you're not allowing him to push all over you. Right. Stop. Yes. Tell him how good he is. Tell him how good that is. Very, very good. Um. Right. So now, have you showed him a flag? He's not that bothered, is he? <laughs> okay, so I'm going to change now to asking him to move forward with his feet, which is what trailer loading is. Now, I've got a feeling he might come in here. Well, that's where I've got to say no. You know, so I'm going to go from neutral now. Yeah, so I, I, I'm, I'm going to go from neutral now. No, that's not neutral. That's go. Not too bad. Yeah, well, I can't. Um, I'm going to disengage him and back him off out my space, which beautiful. It's the little periods where I'm not doing anything where he's learning. So that he just got out my space then. He's so used to being on top of us, but he said, oh no, oh no, I, it's better for me not to. Well, if they can, why wouldn't they? They have to, if we allow it, they know that we're not really a good alpha leader because in their own environment, they don't allow that. Come on. Come on. Come on. You've got to go forward. That's how you get rid of it. Don't come into me. Don't. Don't come into my space. I don't think so. Good. That ain't going to work. Don't. Ah, that's going to work. That's going to so work. There you go. You, This horse, I've seen it quite often. This horse starts to get defensive when he's not sure. And it's when you're on his side flanks, when you're in front of him, it's not too bad. When you're on his side flanks in an open space, uh, things are usually symptoms of causes. So something has took place. He starts getting defensive now. And it's so important they'll work through that. Now, if you remember, Andrea said you could not 
he would not lunge, he would not move around her when she, she, when Andrew was in his right eye. Well, I haven't gone to that eye yet because, you know, I'm doing the left eye first to see how we're getting on with that one because I thought that would be better. So we've yet to see whether we can get him going forward when I'm in the right eye. But things are starting to show up, guys. Serious things are starting to show up now. So. Good. Back up. There, good. Boy. Right. <clears throat> Good, good, because this, right, it's getting so much better. What I'm sorting out now is feet forward without dragging, which is what trailer loading is. You see? There, so I had a little, nice little uh, attitude there. Nice little attitude, licked and chewed. Can you not into me? Not into me. You Notice know, any change? Stepped out, but it was the way. It was the way he went. The way he went. The attitude he had when he went. Good. There you go. Good. Don't come in. Okay, so can you go? Yes. You see what I'm saying? That's what I'm saying. We've just been through some emotions there. It's the most difficult part of the whole of that job was there, other than obviously the trailer in. Stop. Uh, 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 uh. Good. No. 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 Well, look, this lady, Mandy, seems very experienced to me. And she said she's, he's one of the worst she's come across for dragging and pushing him. Uh, now, that was unrequested. Did you see him then start to come into my space? So I was on it. I was on it. Now, I was quite happy for a first session where I ended up with that then. Like if I keep asking for that side, I might lose some of what I've got. So... For the first session, that with a good attitude, with the flag, forward with the feet, giving me a bit of space. Right? No. He's he's used to not this weather being in Malta. Is it Malta? <laughs> um okay. So what we're gonna have this side. So so can you go this way? No, into me. You see how he's coming in? Yes. Yeah, and come in. So he's got this thing. He has to. No, no. He's really telling me that he doesn't like anyone down that side. You remember what I said about the eye? So what I'm going to do because he's he's getting upset now. I'm going to reduce, take the flag away for a minute because he'd need more. On this side with the flag, he's telling me, I'm not having you with the flag that side. Right, so, um, hey, no, go that, that way. All I want is to step forward. He said, I, I'm not happy with you. No. Oh, I, I think definitely. See how he's coming into me there? Just as Andrea had said earlier, 
when you try to move him or lunge him, move him past you this side, he comes into you. And you can see it there, look, guys. And it, it, it is quite a problem. Uh, who knows where it came from? Uh, I've got my ideas, but, you know, you, you can really see this problem here. And move around me, there. Well, it wasn't nice. Uh, yeah. I go that way. <laughs> Not into me. Slow that up again, guys. Watch. The more pressure, as he starts to drop his shoulder into me, put pressure on, he comes again. Look, he's coming my way. Just like he pushed through Andrea earlier when I asked her. Now, it's not his fault, not guys. This me. is learned behaviour. He's moved people. You know, I always say we move the horse. They don't move our feet. We move their feet. He's moved a lot of people. And he has moved Andrea. Uh, so that's a um, showing up. Stop. Back up. Go this way. Uh. Do you see which side he keeps putting me on? Yeah, all the time. Stop. And go this way. No. Yeah, ah, my timing was terrible for a reason then. I, he just offered it me. And I was so used to him coming in, I thought, and he, he offered it me. It, uh, and I, I cocked that up. Boy. Easy. Funny gates they got in there. Huh? Okay. Okay. That's good. That way. There. Stop. Back up. Back. Little bit, we're getting just starting to get something. Now we're going to calm him down a little bit now, and then we'll go back up, up the top. You see why he's ended up in this country? That's what they do, isn't it? What, how was he sold? What to, was the description? Oh, right, so they're, they're on the way to slaughter. Give me some space. Lovely. Disengage him. Stop. So I was on my way to put him in the stable for just a chill out and while I was by the trailer I thought I would just for, for one minute just get him to uh, transfer what I just kind of achieved in the field uh, by the trailer so he kind of got into his mind that I, I can move his feet around the trailer although not ask him to go in yet put him away for, for 10 minutes so but something happened guys now I got I, I say to people from breakdown comes breakthrough quite often and I think a lot of people are understanding what I mean now. And it's really important during the breakdown that we get the breakthrough. Now, something came up um, with him where I asked him to go around to my to my left. So I'm in the right eye. And um, he, he can't, no, to my right. So I'm in the right eye. He had a little bit of a meltdown and was didn't want to go around me and kind of allow me to be on his flanks. So we had a big breakdown here. Now, I don't, I don't, I put everything in that I possibly can that is, that's allowed to go on YouTube, right? So although I edit, um, James edits, it's to keep the, the time of the video to a normal kind of time. And that's difficult because I'm there for, I'm at jobs for like three hours, two, three, four hours. So I'm going to show you this, guys. So, some pe people will definitely cut this out. You'll see me firm up and I have to stick with the breakdown here 
to get this horse to yield to me when we were around that trailer. Uh, really important, really, really important that during that, that I didn't quit where he was pushing into me because he's got this habit of pushing people and, and not allowing um, to step out from me to give me that little bit of a meter gap around me in my ge geography. So you'll see that now and then and then we'll put him away. So you'll see the levels um, of concentration and letting uh, or, or causing my idea to be his idea. So he has to search. So this is really interesting. I'm, I'm putting it in guys and putting myself out there and I firm up. So see whether you can uh, learn from this. It's not an easy thing to actually do on the ground. And I've done so many horses and compared with observe, remember and compare, which is what horsemanship is. Observing, you're watching me do this now. You gotta try and remember it. That's not so bad these days because we've got phones, we've got, um, you know, uh, memories in our phones. But it's the comparing when you compare with lots of horses. Uh, and that's where I've kind of uh, done so much comparing it. I find it easier than I used to anyway. Not into me, you're gonna have to get that sorted. Not, not into me. Out, 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 out. Not into me. Not into me. Not into me. You have to go forward. Not, not into me. You're gonna have to go this, there. You found it, not into me. This eye is where he, You've got a real problem. This eye, pushing, pushing. You see there, he didn't want to give me any, he, want, he wants to get you back on the left eye and he doesn't want to, there, not into me. There. Now watch his left, watch his left shoulder, his left foot. That's where I wanted, where it reaches out to his left. Then he crosses over with his right and he gives me space there. That's what, no trouble. Look, um, I needed no trouble uh, at all. That side. So it means a lot. You change it eyes. Means a lot. And then here. Not into him, mate. There. Can't yet. So there. I'm getting there. Just with starting it. to get it, guys. Just it's starting a big to get it. Mental block for him. So what we're going to do now? We're going to give him a break now to calm. All right. We'll give him a break now because we've just been through some hellish emotions there. Right. Disengage, back away. Lovely, look at that. Now we'll let him just, his heartbeat drop now, because it's certainly gonna come up soon. Okay. Um, this flexing, really work on that. Ah, is that how you start getting the bridle off? In that nerve? Bridle on, bridle off, with him helping you. Because that was my question, how do you get him to come back? Yeah. That won't go on unless it's, it goes on like that. It goes off like that. Everything is them helping. So we'll just give him, give him a chill out now and I need to get my breath. Yeah. Yes, I see so, you so, and release and give him a little touch. Got to get good at backing off you, all right? No, it's release. Yeah. yeah, is that any better than it was? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and then lower his head. Just, your timing has to be spot on. That has to come off at the same time as he drops down even slightly. Completely. There, yes. Um, hold it here for getting down. That is for, for the flexing. Uh, so just a bit of pressure and think down. Yes, yeah. now we've got to re forget that one because you're releasing too late. Too late. And ask again. And then, uh, yes, and then just rub, rub him. Come this side and you can do lots of that with him. Yeah, go knees a little bit, yeah. There. How's that? Is that any better than it was? It's no. getting a lot better. Yeah, I, good. But I was doing this outside in the yard. Well, you can, you can. Do it in here and outside. But, right. So, he's not pushing on you now, is he? No. Do I do the flexing? Yeah, see if you can. And hold that here. Yeah, yeah get your hip right into his side. Go back out of his way, yeah. I would work on that. Yes, and let it go nicely when it gives. Completely let go. Let it go there when it gives, let it go. Okay. Don't pat him too hard. Right, come round. 
and then try it, get you the rope over his back, and then give him a little rub on his neck, and then you hold there, get it, get into his hip, and then imagine it coming round. And then again, keep doing it so he comes in a bit more each time, and then end it with him like, yes, and he gives. Is that any better? Don't pat him so hard. I wouldn't for now. Change some things. Okay. Why don't you pat so hard? Well, they don't know what patting is, do they? It's like, if I patted you all the time. A mother wouldn't like, pat it, but would she just, you know. Right? So, I realised in the States when I went to them clinics, I didn't even, even know how to pet one right. Um, I wouldn't pat him too hard, that's all. Yes, the, no, see, you've just realised, don't, you said, oh, shut, then you waited to the right spot. Because he was like, yes. still doing that. Yes. So. So it's hard. Yeah. Now, consistent and just you've got to be little. consistent. I've, right, if it was my horse, I would have done 10 minutes and that would have been it. Yeah. I'd have done 15 minutes tomorrow. Yeah. I'm here and I am, I have to shortcut everything. Yeah. I've just had to firm up, I've had to make this happen in a way that I'm not destroying your horse very quickly. Yeah. That's my nemesis, that's our problem. I'm, I'm at the, week, the weekend, the weekend, I'm 300 miles away and I've got to make a difference. So. You can take your time now. I've just shown you there. Yeah. His big thing, he's pushing and pulling you all everywhere. Work on it here for half yeah. an hour. So he says, it's not worth me keep doing this. No, exactly. Because I've just got to keep backing up. Do I do that before I start doing the left and right eye going around? Yeah, I would get this leading good. The leading is bad. Yes. I would send him into there. Yeah. I might even come this side, the, side, the eye he doesn't like. Send ah. him in. Yeah. Use your, it's, this is all yeah. about you. Proving to him that you can move his feet, yes. but he doesn't move Mine. all yours. And that's all he's doing at the moment, dragging you all over the place, in your space, pushing you through the stable, making you upset. No! So, so, right, no. Just, yeah. You know, it's just, yeah. you've got to use all of these little things. Yeah. And there's no magic to this. It ain't going to happen like that. Um, but remember where he's at mentally. He's karma from another country. He's been rescued. If not, if you hadn't have had him, he would have probably been on a plate, wouldn't he? Probably. Yeah, agreed. Like, yeah. So you saved him, really. So, yeah. right, let's look at the trade again now. The wind's slowed down a bit. Thank goodness. Right then, so. So we sent him out. Oh, oh. oh. Right. Well, no. never mind. Sent him in. Play with any of that. Disengage him. Tell him, you know. Controlling his feet and looking at his feet. Okay. Seems quiet, doesn't he? You watch him now. <laughs> Do you want your stick or your phone? Uh, I'm going to want that in a second, yeah. Let's just. Uh... Thank you. So the stick is to line him up. Okay? That is to line him up. So, first of all, I've got to. Make sure I get onto him now, leave him alone when he's lined up. Now he's doing his trick, yeah? So he's uncomfortable now. I'm going to boing him here. He's got to go forward. And I'm going to leave him alone when he's, when he's, no, I'm not. No. No, he can't. I'm not going to leave him alone there. I'm not going to leave him alone there. Leave him alone there. In the direction you want, yeah, because he's learnt to. Now, he's lined up just for a second, so he needs to know that the place that he gets his. So you've got to let him know just for a second now that the peaceful place in his life right now is not going to be here. Is not going to be here. Is going to be just going to watch. He doesn't hit. Uh, I'm going to keep on doing this till he lines up. Not that way. He's got to run it. He's got to run into this because this is his learned behaviour. Uh, well, I would just. Uh, 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 uh. Uh, 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 uh. 
Right. Now we'll tell him how good he is. So he's got to go through those emotions that that doesn't work for him. The only place that he can have any peace is straight and looking in. <laughs> and now tell him how good he is. Okay? He's got to know it's the right answer. So now he's making a decision. Ah! He almost thought about it, didn't he? Almost thought about it. Didn't you, mate? Almost. Almost. Didn't you? Hey? Almost. Hey? Well, we'll see if we can get a foot forward. So there. Not that way. 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 Over that way. Over that way. Over that way. Over that. Not that way. Not that way. Not that way. Not. Not that way. Not that way. Not that way. That's not the way to go. That's it, mate. That's it. Come on, hold them feet. Come on. That way. Ah, ah, ah. That's the first time he said maybe, but not yet. That way, not that way. Not that way, 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 not that way. Look in here. Look in here. Not that way. Not that way, not that way, not that way. There you go. Yeah, it's just taking your time with this. If you rush him, um, he's starting to realise this is better than this. You know? Uh, do you notice which way he's going mostly? Because he's keeping me in. Do you understand? If he was balanced, he'd be trying both. He wants me here. Yeah, come on. So I'll just put a bit of pressure here now, see if we can get movement. You know that that isn't going to work. That's a big try. I could do with getting the lick, really. Um, no, it doesn't matter. Maybe if you can just go in and grab the lick, because this has got to be a beautiful place for him now. Okay, you like these, huh? You like them? <laughs> huh?
<laughs> came through, you'd have to get out of the way, because, um, right then. Uh -uh. <sighs> yeah, maybe. How are you, eh, hey, kid? Nice. How are you? Huh? How are you? The more his head is in here, yeah. the better. The more his head's around here, the better in life. Sometimes in an in my world, I'd leave him here for half an hour and put him away, see? But I've got to go a little bit more. Um, okay. Put, put, put in the in the box. Let him see you put it in there. That's it. So now, nightmare again. He's running into pressure. Okay, watch yourself. Watch yourself. Now, the important thing is now that I get him to come out with quality. You with what I'm saying? Yeah. I want him to walk off nicely. Uh, 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 uh. All right, you just stand there just so that... Um, mm -mm. Mm -mm. Hey, 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 hey. Uh, no, we don't want to do any, anything. I can get out of the way now. Um, yeah, look down to the floor. Good boy. Right, watch yourself now. Right, watch yourself now. Now we'll put him away for a second. So, what was actually happening then was he was getting quite upset there. Not blasting out, but he could have. Yeah. So the fact that he came out quiet, he was still up when he came out. Yeah. So I've, I thought it was a good opportunity, just leave him for a bit now, yeah. so that he calms, right? Now... The question now is, do we make sure that the jockey door's open for safety? Because if he panics, you've got to get out yeah. and shut this with the top open. It's, a little, it, it's debatable what to do. He's just thinking out, see? He's just thinking out. Yeah. And I'm thinking what will make it. Now, we've got, a, well, we've got a lovely backup coming. Yeah. It gives us an opportunity for working. About. The only thing is some horses collapse their fat lock when they come off. If he looks to me like he's going to be quite careful with it because he could have hit himself here and he didn't. So it might be better. So it's not, I haven't got all the answers of, of Andrea, you got a minute? Sorry. And, 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 and uh, I, do it, I do it all the time. Uh, yeah. Um, so we've got to make a little confab now of what we do. Right then. We've, um, we put him away because he was getting a bit upset. He wanted to come out, but he, he came out nice. He was still up, so I put him away just to get his heartbeat back. So we've got a dilemma now. I feel like you might not hold him. I might not hold him. Okay. Here. Oh, no, right. okay. You don't want him fleeing the trailer because then he ain't going to want to come in. <clears throat> so I don't know if it's best. Bear in mind we keep this open enough that we can get out. You've got to be able to get out. He might say no, because he knows his. He might say no, but he would have gone in their lorries, and there's no way out with the lorries. So I fi feel it would be easy for you if you're going to feed him in here a lot, which is what you're going to have to do. You've got to get him used to coming in. It. If you feed him, his need to get out won't be as strong, and then you back him out, which we've already got a bit of a backup now coming, haven't we? He's raining back. I don't know if you noticed. He's right. No, he's no, it's he's raining back now. When we first raining him back, it was in singles. And now he's, he's, he's actually in diagonals now. So yeah, he's backing up the same as they trot forward. So he's diagonally going back. So that's good. He's free in his mind and his feet off. So I think you're getting back all right. So we're gonna make a decision. Uh, okay. Do you agree? Let's yeah, try. Yeah, okay. Right. Keep the top open so we can see yeah. Mm. 
um, well, let him let him eat his feed first. Now I'm going to bring him out now. All right, I'm going to look at him and just bring him out slow. I'm rubbing him. I'm rubbing him. He was careful with his feet, which is good. Good, mate. Good. 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 Again, let, make sure he looks in. Make sure he looks in. And then... Right. Right. He's just shut. Okay, right then. I'll bring him out now. Just steady. Boy, 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 boy. Okay. Right, okay. Left my stick in there. Could you grab my stick? Yeah. Right, okay, so. Boy. Some re and a few apples and carrots in it. Uh, hey, no, it, it's all right. They've got they've got suspensory. Don't worry. Not that way. Not that way. Not that way. <laughs> yeah, probably. Something nice. <laughs> right. Land again. Hmm? Getting there, aren't we? Getting there. Mm -mm. Right, we'll put them away again in five minutes now. But these little breaks are so important. I have to have that ready. Because yeah. um, remember something, he knows exactly who you are. Okay, I've represented something completely new to him. He's starting to really, really trust me now. That's to do with that space. I think that it was hard for you to understand some of that. But I think you're starting to realise he can't respect me if I don't respect my own space around him. So... He's getting to a stage where he's kind of working this out with me. You, he knows exactly who you are. He knows how many times you've asked him to go do something and he hasn't done it. So there's history. So don't get down if he's not the same with you now, because he probably won't be. All right? It always happens. Uh, but it is down to you to try and work this out. So you know I think he's going to do the avoidance. He's learned that. You know he hasn't. Have you noticed he hasn't wanted to come around here? Because he knows I'm going to have him in the other eye. I know. So, you're going to have to tap him. Look, it's boinging. Well, it's gonna, they're going to feel it, but it's not going to be like a whip. A whip is fast and stings. This taps and encourages. Okay? So, I found, we, I've used millions of sticks. I find a, a boinging tight stick with a soft end is the best thing. Right. So, you will have to, but you've got to quit when he starts going. When he starts going around, I'll say to you, quit if, I'm, if I can watch from a distance. And then when he's there, touch him and then see if we go in. Okay?
in line and then encouraging. Just a little cluck. Yeah, walk in. Well done. Now stay, have a bit of quality time in there now. Rub him. Let him know everything's all right for as long as you can till you feel like you can come out with a bit of quality. Look at his feet and go gentle. Gentle, slow everything down in your mind. Slow it all down. And then, how's that? Well, however he comes out, you know, I'm not that. And you're going to put him away now on a good feel. Well, I'll leave it on that note now because you can overdo this. It's, uh... Cluck for forward. Okay, well, if you... But you've noticed that. That's good. You can... You can help her with, with that. So look, when she's, uh, that's a wrap, Tanya, I think. Um, that's our one. Um, brilliant. Oh, for you. <laughs> yeah? yeah? It's a big deal, that is. Um, now, where to go from here? You're fortunate I'm not 300 miles away. So we do pass here. So look, don't get upset. I, I believe you're going to get there. Um, do you, Amanda, do you feel a little bit more... Uh, Mandy. Mandy. Yeah, I can feel Mandy. Do, do you feel a little bit more hopeful with yeah, it now? Maybe. Maybe. Clucks forward. Clucks forward, no, touch back. Oh, Cluck and tuck. Cluck for forward. Cluck. No, 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 click. No. Yeah! <laughs> and tuck, tuck for back, he'll know it, because I've put that in there. So tuck. To, yes. I know. It's just actually doing it. So I, I, I'm not a million miles away. I do pass here. If it, if it goes down, let us know, and we'll have to pop up, right? Yeah. Um, and we'll do, do it as cheap as we can for you, all right? So watch your program. You know you're gonna do stuff in the stable. Yeah. You've got to do lots of flexing so that he doesn't. It helps him not drag you with straight as an arrow yeah. all the time. Uh, lots of backing up. Lots of yield into you. And I would, at least every other day, can't you set it up somewhere that where it's easy for you? Remember what's going to happen with him. He is going to go to that side and you're just going to smile and tap him till he lines up. So there was your Maltese trotter guys that landed here five, six weeks ago from Malta, off the racetrack and very troubled, very lost. Now, it, it, it kind of is hard for some people to realise that horses find great comfort from real leadership. And that's what I had to do there. Get some respect of space uh, and be a clear um, black and white, no shades of grey. And as time goes on, the horse would melt to me. I know it. I just know that horse would feel so much more comfortable. Now, <clears throat> it's a big ask uh, for Andrea with a horse like this. And Andrew hasn't had that many horses. So how is she getting on? This wasn't that long ago. It was a few, few days ago, less than a week, I think. Uh, how is she getting on? Really well. We've had two videos, which I'll show you in a minute, only little clips of the trailer in. But remember, this wasn't just about, okay, the main um, objective for Andrew, I think. Not so much now that she understands a little bit more. The main objective was to me to get her horse trailer in so... Andrew can take the horse to different places and, and there's things she wants to do. And I can understand that. It was about a lot more than that, wasn't it? So, <clears throat> yes, there's, the, there's got to be petitions put in the training. But in all fairness, Andrew said she was going to get a breast bar and not bother with positions. A lot of people do that. And it might be worth doing that for a little while. Then maybe um, when she's fed the horse in it, you know, every other day for a few weeks, then start putting the petitions in. Uh, but Andrea's um, message saying that she's vigilant now about her space. She gets the horse yielding, does all of the things that I showed her. 
Uh, and remember, I had to shortcut a lot of that to make a change while I was there. Guys, it's worked because uh, I'll show you the little two clips we've got now uh, that we've had come through. Um, I'll do that now. The message guys andrew said oh the second one here didn't go that well i actually think it went better because the horse said no did its usual escape tactics and andrea just lifted a stick and he moved over straightened up and went in i thought that was awesome um so yeah guys look things are looking good here really pleased and they've moved the trailer as well so it was a different feel but look at that how nice now and now andrea will feed that horse in it for a few weeks uh, and then it's onwards and upwards, hopefully, for this for this trotter from Malta. <laughs> so that's the end of that video, guys. Another video with a lot, lots in it, <laughs> lots of different stuff. And I hope I've explained it um, well for you. Share, comment, like, love, whatever you can do for us. Keeps the ball rolling, all that sort of thing does. Um, and that's it. It's uh, gone six o'clock of an evening here and I am just about to start my motorbike up and I'm going to the first motorbike meet um, down at a place called Crosswell Quay where it's a lovely estuary and sit there, talk to some bikers, have a little bit of a break. I've had my tea but I might end up having a burger as well. That's what usually happens with, with that sort of thing. That's tonight and then tomorrow we pack in, getting everything sorted out ready for Friday morning when we're off. Uh, Charlotte, me, Tanya, and we're all off to Oxford, meeting uh, some helpers there to help us get all set up for a big demo on Saturday in Oxford. And we'll do the demo day on Saturday. Several horses in the afternoon, which I haven't seen um, uh, with, with certain issues. And we've taken Nita and Charlotte's new George. We've only had him several weeks. Uh, I've sat on him literally sat on him twice not done any training on him deliberately i've just made sure my saddle fits good enough for the demo so it'll be a unique opportunity for, for people there i'm going to assess him i'm going to assess what i think needs working on i'm going to see how halter broke he is i have led him in and out quite a bit now so i've got a good idea he stops for me now when i stop and things like that um and he flexes a little bit i mean i've I'll be doing a good groundwork session and then I'll be jumping on him. See how he sides up with Charlotte, said he's not very good at that. And then um, uh, ride him for the first time and assess what I think, uh, you know, where he's at and uh, where, what Charlotte should be working on. So we've got that. Then we get back on the Sunday because we stay Saturday night because we're all shattered. Saturday night, nice meal with all the helpers that come and help. And then get back on the Sunday. On the Monday, we... Travel to Gatwick Airport, stay there the night. Then on Tuesday we fly to the USA, uh, where where we've got going to help a horse um, there, hopefully, and meet some people as well. So we're really looking forward to that. It's been a few years since we've got to the states, so that'll be awesome, and that's really something to look forward to. So um, I think that's about it, guys. That that's this one done. Uh, so all there is to say is. Uh, Goodbye from international horseman Steve Young. Because <laughs> uh, that's really uh, right now, isn't it? I suppose. All tongue in cheek, guys. So, yeah, ciao for now. Happy trails. And see you in a couple of weeks, hopefully, uh, when we're back from across the pond. Ciao for now.